Hey guys, welcome to the review, and today we're going to talk about Randall Box. And uh, he's one of the villains from Monsters Inc. Let's take a look at his space stats 50 in offense, 12 in defense, 216 in health at level 1, obviously. Um, I'm kind of, I've worked my hardest to try to get him so, so I can unlock him and use him. I've played against this character several times. Seems useful, but I'm curious to see what he's like. So. Let's see, based on unlocking him, how strong he becomes. And level him up to 30. Let's go take most of my coins. All right, he's got an offense of 195. Defense, 46. Health, 1719. Overall power, 104. Let's gear him up. Awesome. Oh, man, I missed him by one. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to get the extra material I need to unlock the second tier and get to the third tier at least, so I can give an accurate assessment on him. So let's take a look at his base stats now. We're looking at 295 in offense, 63 defense, 2349 in health. Uh, speed is the same because he's an offensive character and pretty much everything else is the same. So let's take a look at his skills. So we got his skills, his basic attack at least, deals up to 275 damage to a target opponent. At level 2, 30% chance to continue attacking if this character is affected by stealth. So this I guess would work with like Scar or another Randall or any other character like, uh, oh, even Violet from Incredible. So not bad, I guess. Not really useful too many times, but okay. At level 3, it gets a 50% damage increase, and at level 4, it gets a 10% chance to continue attacking. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how useful that is, but okay. Let's go to the next skill. Next skill deals up to 590 damage to a target opponent, inflicts fear for 2 turns, and then a 50% chance to inflict fear for 2 turns on adjacent opponents. Cool. And then he gains speed stealth for two turns not bad definitely one of the ones i've seen this character use more often obviously and then at level two gets a 75 percent damage increase oh that's a big one so yeah you definitely want to level this character's skill to level two to get a huge bump in damage and then at level three once you get to gear five you get a 25 percent chance to inflict fear on a Jason opponent. So instead of 50%, it becomes a 75% chance. So not bad. And then at level four, once you get to gear seven, it's an additional 50% damage increase. So yeah, that's 125% of an increase. Super. That's awesome. Yeah, you definitely want to level this all the way up to get a full effect of his attack range. So cool. Not bad. All right. So then we get his last special. Deals up to seven. 174 damage to target opponent, inflicts a silence for one turn, and reduces target's opponent's speed by 30%, so not bad. Um, at level 2, you get a 10% speed meter dec decrease as well, so instead of being 30%, it becomes 40%, and then you have to get to gear 5, and you got to definitely need gamma runes. And then at level 3, it gets a 50% damage increase, so not bad. This gets you to gear 7, so you're going to take some time to do that, but okay. Um, not bad to have, though, to use. We'll try it out in testing. And then here's his passive. On receiving a harmful effect, gains cleanse, gains stealth for one turn, restores health to this character's equal to 2% of the character's maximum health, health restore increase by 2% of this character's maximum health per opponent affected by fear. Okay, so that's an interesting uh, passive. So he can gain the stealth and he get a restore in health as long as there's many people too that have fear. So like, for example, I believe uh, Sully has his taunt where he inflicts fear if you get it leveled up. If he gets that passive, then he will be able to restore his health based on that fear. So not bad, interesting. Uh, I don't know how often you're gonna get that, but we'll try it out in testing. And then at level two gets a 5% restore. So instead of being two, I'd imagine it gets 5% more than that, seven in total. Okay, and you need a gear four, so that's pretty easy to do. 
At level three, decrease required magic by one. Okay. And then at level four, if you get to gear eight, which is the newest one, you get a stealth duration increase. So instead of being one turn, it'll be two turns with this passive. So interesting. Let's uh, let's check them out in some quick gameplay. All right. So I got my team together. I was using the uh, villain campaign. And I realized that Sully's a hero, so I couldn't put Sully that I know that has a fear taunt. Uh, and I can't remember any other characters that uses a fear as a villain. Uh, so I'm just going to do it like this, and uh, I'll just try it out later on in a better testing environment. So let's tr try Randall out. <laughs> Alright, here's our first one. Let's try... This one, which is we'll inflict fear. Okay, not too bad. All right, let's try this one. Okay, cool. Here's a basic. So not bad of a character, um, he requires a lot more work, definitely needs to be increased in his skills. His skills really need that extra boost, I believe especially this one, if you get to the level 2 at least, it gives him a good fighting chance. Uh, the other skills, not too much of my liking, this one does some good damage, but you really need to get to level 3 in order to be really, really effective, his basic is really nothing um, unless you get to level two maybe so it was kind of hard to test because I don't have the right opponents and I would need a little bit more work to do that but once once I level them up a little bit more maybe I'll show another video and max them out and then I'll show another video about how he is maxed out with full gear and stuff like that sort so anyways thanks so much guys for watching Pre really appreciate you taking the time please hit that like and subscribe button below and if you can please share my video i really appreciate it I'm trying to grow the channel as you know and uh definitely need your guys help to do that so thanks so much guys have a nice day bye